Hello and welcome to this presentation. In this discussion, we shall be looking at dealing with powers and roots with your Casio FX991 ES Plus or Casio FX991 ES. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share this video. Don't also forget to leave behind a comment. Your opinion on this project is very important. Alright, let's look at powers first. Number one, we have 2 to the power 3. This is just a basic calculation. So you just type in 2 and then you press this button here. That is x to the power box. Just press it. That gives you a place for you to key in your exponent. Now, you then key in 3. And after that, you press equal to that is 2 to the power 3 is 8 now let's look at the second one 4 to the power negative 1 alright so let me press the all clear key you press 4 then you press the exponent button and then you key in negative 1 and that gives you 1 over 4 or 1 quarter now let's try the third one 7 to the power 3 and that gives you 343 so basically this doing this is just one basic process that anybody you don't need to even put in more effort before you can do it let's look at the second group of items Let's go to the second group of items. Uh, we have here 144 to the power half. Remember, we also have fraction exponents. So we type 144, then you key in the exponent button, and then you type, you then key in the fraction button here to give you your fraction place. Now we have here 1 over. 2 and that will give us 12 actually 144 to the power half is simply the same as the square root of 144 let's continue with the second one so I'm going to key in 27 then you introduce you press your power button or your exponent button then you press the fraction button now you key in 2 scroll down over 3. So 27 to the power 2 over 3. Let's press and see what the answer is. Another gives us 9. Actually, the exponent 2 over 3 simply means that first of all, the number down here is 3. So you take the cubic root of 27. Alright, the answer you get, you then square it. So the numerator instructs us to square, and the denominator instructs us to always take the root according to the the number the denominator is let's look at the third example number three let me press the all clear key now you press in 64 to the power and then I'll press the fraction key then we have here 3 over 4 equal to and that will give us 22 0.627417 of course going what does this mean in other words you take the fourth root of 64 the answer you get you then raise it to the power of course 3 so that is basically how to deal with radicals and powers but that's not all let's proceed further let's now look at when they are written with the radical signs Alright, so let's start with 81. So number 1, we type in 81. Sorry, let me press my AC key. First of all, you press the radical key here. And then you type in 81. Then you press equal to. That's the same as the square root of 81. And the answer is 9. Another way you can do this is, you can press the shift key. And then press 
this particular key here, x to the power box key, all right, and what do you have? We are looking for 81, the square root of 81. So what you simply key here is 2. In other words, you want the square root. Then you scroll inside and you type in 81. What do you get? 9. So this is the same as the square root of 81. But it is not common to actually see the square root of 81 written this way. But if you also write it this way too, it's also correct. Let's go to the second one. The cubic root of 27. Now the cubic root of 27, you press the shift key and you press the radical key. Already the cubic root has already been keyed in. So you type in 27. And then equal to, and that gives you 3. In other words, the cubic root of 27 is 3. Let's look at the second op option. You press the shift key, then you press the power key, as you can see here, and then you type 3 outside. That means you're looking for the cubic root. Then you scroll, and then you key in 27. Now press the answer, and it gives you 3. Right. Let's move to the third example, and the radicals or roots. All right. So I'll press again. Actually, there's no primary key that you can just directly get this particular function. Or you can get this particular root, fourth root. So what you do is you simply press the shift key and press the power key again to access this particular function, the secondary function you have here. All right. All right, the box root of a box. Well, if you can see that way. Now you key in four outside, scroll inside and type in 81. And that gives you 3. Let's go further and look at the combination of radicals and powers. Okay? Combination of radicals and powers. Let me press the AC key. Now our first example. We have the square root of 81 squared. So what I will first of all do is that I open the brackets by pressing this button here. And then I press the radical key. Type in 81 because I want square roots scroll to the left sorry to the right please this is very important scroll out if not when you close the bracket that way it's, it's, it's not going to work then you close the bracket then you square all right you type in the square key here all right or if you want you can just press the power key and type in your two then you press equal to all right so the answer is basically 81 let's go to the number two you open your bracket again this time, I'm looking for the cubic root, so I press shift and this particular key down here to get the secondary function key. Type in 27. Scroll to the right. Close the bracket. And then type in to the power 3. The other option is that you can simply use this particular function key here. Then you simply type in this and of course the shift key before you press the x square key, which will give us the secondary function key, which is x to the power 3. Alright, so I'll press my shift and then press that. Now this one, it comes. Then you press equal to and I'll give you 27. Let's look at the number 3 again. This time I'll open. Let's look at the number 3 again. You open the bracket. You press shift. Alright, and of course the power key you have here. Now this time you type in 4. You scroll in, type in 81, scroll to the left, close the bracket, press the power key to give us a place to key in the exponent, and then you then type in negative 2. And then when you press equal to, it gives you 1 over 9. This is basically how to combine radicals and powers. Practice, they say, makes perfect, so make sure you practice more and more on this. Thank you for your time and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Leave a comment on this project and may God bless you.